Hi everyone, I am Hydro Athlete Mike Dostal. Today we're going to look at strokes per minute, what it actually means, why is it important, what's considered good, and how to improve your strokes per minute. I'm joined by Danny and Akil on the water. Here's Akil, what is strokes per minute, Akil? Now, strokes per minute literally, literally are the number of strokes that you take in one minute. So if you're at 30 strokes per minute, you're doing that 30 times a minute. That's pretty simple. There is a bunch of different ways to describe stroke per minute. SPM, rate, rhythm number, or S slash M, which will be on your rowing machine. All of those things mean the same thing. So why are strokes per minute important? Here's Danny with an example of how to change stroke per minute and how it can affect your speed. We're gonna go from this 20 SPM to this 30 SPM. I'll show you how you do it. Here we go. Right here, moving to 30. Good. You see that quickness? How we're going up? Beautiful. We're gonna bring it back down here. You're gonna watch that boat speed drop back down right here. Good. That relaxation really comes over you. Good. Now, you may be asking, how does that impact my rowing? Well, if you are rowing higher, at a higher stroke per minute, then you can go faster if you are applying the right effort. So, what is considered a good stroke per minute? But what we don't want to do is confuse strokes per minute with how fast you're going. That's exactly right, Akil. Speed can increase with higher strokes per minute, but they are not the same thing. For reference, let's say you're at the World Championships, you're about to cruise through a 2,000 meter race. You're likely gonna start off around a 42, between a 40 to a 44 strokes per minute. That race, then you're gonna settle in to around 36 to 38 strokes per minute. And then back toward the end of that race, you'll probably bring it right around back up to a 42. That is very high intensity. Those are some elite level strokes per minute. Those strokes per minute are very high and they are if you're running at an elite level. Now, if you're beginning, how do you improve your strokes per minute? If you're just starting out, try to think about learning how to be consistent with that rhythm number, with that strokes per minute, before you get too worried about which number is actually on the screen. Once you're capable of maintaining a consistent strokes per minute, that's just gonna be one less thing you have to think about when you're moving through your workout. I hope you enjoyed learning about strokes per minute with us today. If you did, give the video a like, subscribe to our channel for loads more tips on rowing. See you guys later.